Hey everybody, it's me Larasha and this is Goddess Queen, just me, 23, and this is going to be the weekly reading for the overall collective. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that no notification bell, select all so you're notified when I post on this channel. Don't If you don't select all, you're only going to get notified whenever YouTube selects whatever videos or posts. Um, randomly so if you select all you get notified for everything also check out what's the chat of larasha where i do the treasure box readings for the overall collective and build a nation by word of mouth welcome if you're new to my face make sure you check out my new deck which is called i remember the time tarot deck it's a 78 tarot deck call uh for everybody's enjoyment right um, it's available at www.goddessqueenjustme23.com and then also my Etsy shop, which is Goddess Queen Just Me uh, 23. No, it's just Goddess Queen Just Me on the Etsy, excuse me. And then if you're interested in my other deck, which is my Oracle deck, it's called a deck just for me. I'm going to use it in this video. It's available on um, for $20 off of the regular price. The, the discounted price is going to be in checkout when you check out. You can get the link or for both of the decks in the About Me, the description box in my video, and the community section of my channel. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. This is a weekly reading for the overall collective. Um, I'm already getting tongue-tied. Somebody's tongue-tied. The song that's on right now is Hate Our Love by Queen Naja and Big Sean. So you know, people always hate known divine feminine, divine masculine's love, right? Regardless if this is your twin flame, your twin ray, your divine partner, your life partner, divine soulmate. There are always haters out there. There's always people that set up to sabotage y'all's journey, right? Because you and this person are meant to, you know, complete certain missions, do certain things together, right? Bring certain energy to the collective to allow everybody else to be in this loving energy, right? So people over here praying on your downfall, hoping that this person don't choose you, hoping that you choose somebody else, hoping that they select them instead of you and so on but at the end of the day y'all love can't be dominated y'all love can't be uh uh manipulated duplicated copied or edited at the end of the day they can sit there and try to do whatever they can to try to be you mimic you or try to make you seem like you are not this person for this person but the heart always grows fonder when it comes to any type of distance and then the chemistry is always gonna be on fleek right so let's see what's going on for the weekly reading for the overall collective make sure you like subscribe comment as well as share um so weekly reading for the collective too many cards so we do got karmic family and friends so it's a karmic family and friends that is hating on y'all's love so it says doesn't have good intentions hidden by the vela labels traumas pains limited beliefs so this is limited belief system again we grew up we were raised on this false beliefs you know rewritten history recreated history you know twisting shit again so it's gonna always cause you to doubt certain situations when it comes to any new horizon that you experience but your family and friends is hating on you big time right now and they don't want to see you happy they don't want you to see you happy divine feminine or don't want to see your masculine happy at, at all and this comes in your family and friends the ones that's close to you then when you start getting into the spiritual awakening you start realizing that these motherfuckers is wilson sheep clothing okay you a labeler to me okay what type of label are you are you a succubus you an incubus you a jazz bell you a black widow which one are you? Are you just a, some an enemy that they granted to get close to me this time to slow me down? 
guess what that mask is going to come off right so i feel like whoever this is these people are over here saying certain things you know trying to uh, put certain things in your masculine's head trying to put certain things in your head trying to put certain things in other people's head that's vibing and feeling you feeling your energy feeling everything about you right but you got them hating ass motherfuckers tell them to sit in the back like i told you heart chakra so now you got these motherfuckers confused now you got karmic family and friends opening up their heart chakra realizing that damn only reason why i'm talking about this person i hate this person so much is because i really have a thing for them some of y'all we all got those family members that was lovers in past lives and in this lifetime they a family member and it's called emotional incest some people do take part of uh, family incest, but I, I, like I said, I, I ain't down for that. But there is certain people that have that emotional incest, right? And then on top of that, you got your face. These are friends. Your friends is that they, they became friends and they end up being frenemies or you got these enemies. You got them confused right now. I feel like you are changing these people's hearts when it comes to how they were judging you and how they were treating you and how they were looking at you and just viewing you badly. So I feel like there's a karmic family member or a karmic friend that has their heart chakra is like boom 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 and every time they hear your name or every time they see your face they like boom 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 and they like damn only time that i'm supposed to feel that is you know if i love somebody and your family is supposed to love you right because your family that's your blood you they the ones that's supposed to love you before anybody else does but sometimes we got stupid ass situations where they give us an x from a past life and then this motherfucker is like a brother, a sister, a uncle, an auntie, a daddy, a mama, a child. And then they start being in this jealous and envious energy. And then it just fucks up your whole journey, right? Because now they sabotaging anybody that comes in that tries to love you. They over there hating because they got some romantic feelings for you. That shit, I feel like now, whoever this is, if they were living that life, I feel like this was a past energy. I feel like now this person is, if it's a family member that was feeling you in some type of wrong way they probably like okay shit this is my family member they you know i can't block her from loving somebody because all it's doing is blocking myself same thing with friends if it's a friend then you know it's a different situation they can come make a pass at you but depending on what it is that they did you probably don't even want to be in their energy right but you always like you when you grow up you always say the ones that pick on you is the ones that really like you and like I said, those come in shapes, all shapes and different forms. So I feel like somebody's heart is grown fonder for you after they've been hating on you. So you have love. Chakra, yeah, look at that. That's a sign of synchronicity. The camera fell. Camera fell. Camera fell. So that's a sign of synchronicity that somebody is uh, falling for you after they hated on you. Let's just hope that is a family member that's okay, but you've been them being family and don't let it be nothing else. And then it's a, if it's a friend, you know, you don't never know. I don't know. I don't think I'm interested in any of my enemies. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But whoever's watching this, it could be. But somebody's heart is growing fonder. So you have love, affection, compassion, unity, emotion. I am worthy of love. You have self-doubt and go-getter. So they could have been hating because, again, you this go-getter energy. You got this pure heart. You got this heart that's full of green. Again, wherever you go, you go on to abundance. Wherever you go, you go on to prosperity. You could have a lot of people doubting themselves. A lot of people just can't be around your energy, and your energy just can stand out bright, right? I feel like, again, if there was family members and friends and your masculines are in your feminine's ear, they were trying to make this person self-sabotage this relationship with self-denial denying that you were be good for them or they were not good for you or you know they needed to be with somebody else or you needed to be with somebody else or they were not worthy of your love i feel like somebody is worthy of your love and they just had family and friends telling them that they wasn't or they were not you were not good enough for them and i feel like this person is really seeing that they allowed these people to keep them in this sabotaging energy and keep them in the standstill energy so you have um self-doubt so it says self-sabotage denial fear i'm good and i'm fear i'm not good enough or you're not good enough for me you see what i'm saying it says go getter hustler boss moves ambition on go watch my footwork so even if you were as a separation between a wedge between you and your mask because the family and friends was in the way you still doing your thing your masculine is possibly still doing his thing but again typically when the female if you are a true divine feminine you walk away and you completely remove your energy it causes your masculine to tank and causes them to realize everybody that's around them where it is the wolves and sheep clothing the deceivers the decepticons they get they get sculpted out
fast in a hurry because they're missing that void of that love from you right so this makes your masculine or this feminine get on you know the right side of the energy okay let me view out who is around my circle who was the one that was saying this and who was the one that was saying that why was i listening to these people okay so you you her cousin her uncle or whatever you got a thing for her she was talking about y'all black widows that be past life lovers and shit and y'all is givers in this lifetime okay oh my sister be feeling me like oh yeah we ain't gonna do none of that okay i'm gonna push you over here to the side we're gonna love you from the distance and i'm gonna go on about my mission i'm gonna go pick up my divine feminine i'm gonna go pick up my divine masculine because now i see the game for what it really is right soul tribe members so you got soul family members tribes and everything they over here seeing you on your hustle you got new people that's coming into you because you letting go of new you letting go of old energy and you allowing new energy to come in so it's allowing new faces to come in new people with new personalities people that you haven't even you know exchanged a conversation with right and then when you do remove those negative influences it allows these this new energy and like i said you on in a whole new world it's a whole new ball game at that time right so you got soul family and tribe it says here to help uh when family and friends can't help with your purpose so again you got these karmic family and friends so the only thing that the universe can do is replace them with soul family members some of the family members that's on the same journey as you not the jealous sea envious ones and then tribe members new people friends from different cities different states communities they coming in and they replacing they helping lifting you up removing that self-doubt that was put there from these family members and these friends the ones that are supposed to be loving you strongly but loving you weakly and negatively right okay so i feel like you still on the go you still on the go you over here trying to like okay i'm i'm a, I'm, I'm on a mission right now i'm recruiting i'm recruiting a whole new team and that's family members and friends and everything there was black magic and spells that was done you see what i'm saying so when they see they can't stop you they see you on your hustle they gotta go buy some get their money go spend some money on doing some spells get on google let me see how to do this motherfucking spell let me go over here to this herb store da, 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 da. that's what they trying to do to stop you they was trying to sit there and stop your money because like i told you you got a lot of abundance coming into you because you got a pure heart and these family and family and friends don't have the same energy as you right so this is the next level that was only for you it removed everybody that was not meant to go with you yeah you knew these people you know a while back or whatever you grew up with these people these are people that you you came into contact at a younger age but at the same time if they ain't growing and developing and changing certain things like you're changing and eventually you're gonna walk away from these people and it brings a lot of jealousy and energy energy around the table the table that you was sitting at the t the motherfuckers that you was feeding right but guess what if you ain't for me you can't sit at my table you can't sit with me right and then especially if they over here doing black magic and spells to try to slow you down all that's doing is helping you better all that's doing is helping stacking your money better making you look they over there doing spells on your face because you pretty they over here doing spells on your car they over here doing spells on your kids and all that stuff they, all they doing is making y'all great and it's been it's pissing these people off because now they in self-doubt because they've been wasting money to try to bring you down. And it ain't even helping. It ain't even doing anything but just making you greater. You feel me? So it says the magic code. It says spells, voodoo, hex, vex, black magic, a sacrifice to stop union. I'm here to destroy you. He slash she thinks you're the witch, not me. So you ain't going to think that your family and friends is over here doing spells because, again, especially your family. Damn, we on the same bloodline. So you over here stopping our bloodline we over here trying to break generational curses and all you're doing is steady keeping it stuck then if they can't do it they go out in the community and start finding people that know shit about your family or they know how to do certain magic and stuff to do shit, certain thing for blood magic when it comes to family graveyard spells and shit like that so y'all feel like you have family members i feel like you had friends i feel like you had community people doing magic on you because you is great you and your motherfucking tony the tiger energy just great right and they over here trying to stop you can't be stopped you can't be stopped you can't be stopped at all so you got the runner so they was over here making doing these spells making you be the runner making your masculine run from you 
Again, they the every block, every spell that they sit there and cast, every full moon, new moon, if it's every day that they do a spells, these bitches is getting blocked. And like I told you, it was a family member or friend. This divine soulmate re represents family, friends, anybody that you uh, known you more than five years. If you've been with somebody sexually active more than five years on and off, this also could represent baby daddy, baby mama energy. Somebody could have been in the mix with that too. Right, especially if you left your baby daddy, baby mama, they could have been jealous and they had their family over there doing spells. But I feel like somebody wants you to marry them. It could be this divine soulmate. I don't know who this is, but there could be a divine soulmate that you blocked that want to come back because they could be getting out of uh, black magic uh, holds. So you could have more than one divine soulmate. But you do have one that holds the main title of it. But you can have more than one divine soulmate. You can have more than one uh, life partner. You can have more than one. See, now this is the thing about Twin Ray. They saying that you can have more than one Twin Ray. Because one your first Twin Ray could go to a Black Widow Twin Ray. And then it will bring in a Blue Flame Twin Ray. Which is a totally different energy. So, But I know you can have more than one divine soulmate. And you can have more than one life partner. Okay, you can have more than one divine partner, depending on if you into same-sex relationships, interracial relationships, so on. But you just got to figure out if they karmic or if they, you know, succubus, incubus, Jezebel, Black Widow. I'm sitting here trying to learn lessons. You got to figure all that out for yourself. But I feel like somebody's been running. You could be getting ready to be run away blind because you could have blocked this person. And now this person is freaking heart chakra is just big for you. And they could have been abided by family and friends and listening to them. And now they over here like, I got to get her back or I got to get him back. And now they want to marry you. <laughs> so uh, we ain't seen a divine soulmate card come out a lot. Usually, typically, it's twin ray and energy and light partner. But it seemed like there's a divine soulmate that could have been under the influence of black magic and spell work. That could have been done by their own family members or own friends or somebody in the community that was doing it on the boat for y'all. And now it's looked like it's getting blocked. So it says, marry me. So this person wants you to come in and marry you, them. It says, the, the runner, it says, noncommittal, fear of one's love, pride and ego. I don't love you. Go away. Blocked. It says, no way to contract social media block, phones, texts, emails, no go. Unblock me now. This person could have blocked you on social media. You could have blocked them on social media. You could have changed your phone number on this person. They could have changed their phone number on you. Now they trying to figure out a way to contact you. They could be going to family and friends that they know that had a good interest for both of y'all. Good intentions for both of y'all. And they asking people, asking about you. Is she with somebody? Is she dealing with anybody? What's going on with so-and-so? Right? So you got divine soulmates union. It says, we, we come together for a purpose. You recognize me. It says, marry me. It says, entanglement entanglement so this person could have put you in an entanglement with one of your family members or a friend and they finding out that this person or it was a baby mama baby daddy that was doing spells so it says in engagement proposal commitment union internal devotion okay so now this person wants to marry you now they want to come in with this marriage energy they talking about marriage and before they was not committal because they had people in their ear so it says, I love you. So yeah, they realizing that they love you. So this divine soulmate is tired of running. They getting ready to block everybody that was making this person run. This person really loves you unconditionally. And they know that you un unconditionally love them. They're hoping that you don't block this proposal that they really coming to get you. I don't know who this is, but it's somebody divine soulmate coming. And you could have blocked this person in the past and they blocked you. But now they like, fuck this shit. Or they was, it was they pride, they ego. They didn't think that they was good enough for you. They thought you was too good enough for them. And now they like, no, nah, this person knows, like they said, we come together for a purpose. She recognized me or he recognized me. Let me stand up and be that man and be that woman that I know I can be, that I was destined to be. And this person is now saying, I love you. So you could get somebody that could be unblocking you saying, hey, I love you. I'm sorry. I apologize for what I did. Can we do this again? Or somebody just coming straight in fast in a hurry and coming in with a love proposal because they decide to choose them over family and friends. So it says, I love you. So it says, I feel for you. Unconditional love, strong attraction, affection. Please love me back. This could be somebody from somebody past and they just popping up and out of nowhere. 
Ain't nothing to cut the bitch off. Throw shocker. So they gonna tell you about everybody they cut off. Everybody that came in the way. Everybody that was doing spells. Everybody that told him or her to block you and not go towards you. They getting ready to tell you all that. There could be an air sign that could be involved in a certain situation. This represents Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. But somebody's coming in and they speak and they gonna say, will you marry me? I love you. I love you. Will you marry me? That's gonna be exactly his words. So it says, ain't nothing to cut a bitch off. You're going to ask about baby mama, baby daddy, all the other ones that was in the way. He's going to say that, hey, they ain't even a problem no more. I blocked all them people. I got a new phone number for you. I'm going to show you that I'm really about what I really want to be about with you. So you got a divine soulmate that's coming towards you. So it says throat chakra, it says self-expression, inner voice, vocal, speaking one's truth. This person's getting ready to speak their truth after you already cut this person off. You jazz this person or this person jazzed you and they coming back. So it says ain't nothing to cut a bitch off. It says king and queen of swords. Bye, Felicia. You cut ties with this person. Again, there was black magic that was causing this person to stay stuck. Now they got their family and friends watching you. Seeing if you over there dealing with anybody else. Is this a good time for me to come in with this love proposal or hit her up and tell her and call her and ring her phone and say, I love you. I miss you. So somebody's missing you. They tired of running. They getting ready to block everybody else for you. And it is definitely a masculine. Okay. You got a divine partner underneath here too. So it could be a bit of a divine partner and divine soulmate that's in this energy. And they got their family and friends watching you heavenly to see if anybody else is trying to come towards you or if you are blocking them just like you block you are you blocking all these new people just like they blocked you when it comes to a love offer. But somebody's getting ready to go for grabs, and that's what I'm seeing right here. So gonna go ahead and end this reading. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. I love y'all and y'all be safe.